YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros and I'm a Whovian and today I am reviewing Doctor Who Death to the Daleks. So this is a four part episode. Well, it's a story from 1974 uh, in John Pertwee's final season where the Doctor and Sarah Jane Smith, who at the time was a newcomer, um, go to this planet, uh, end up on this planet, Axelos, Axelon, where they, um, you know, which is a planet where all technology is rendered useless, including the TARDIS itself. Uh, but the Doctor finds a, some humans on there uh, mining from this element called Beridium. And uh, along the way, the Daleks are also there looking for that element, and they also get caught up in an ally uh, in a resistance of Axelons, Axelonians, a tribal race and locals to the planet. And of course, with the Daleks' weaponry not working, they have to form an uneasy alliance with the Doctor. Um, until they get back up on their feet and then they just go and do what they do best which is be evil and exterminate. So let's get on to my likes and dislikes. First of all, I thought this was a good serial. I thought the you know, the story was unique given you know they're on a planet where nothing works and you know we got to see the Daleks again and Terry Nation who wrote this one and created the Daleks does it good on this. He, you know, he comes up with various ways to kill the Daleks, uh, you know, which is one of his creations, of course, and yeah, the, the Daleks, you know, just, you know, instead of going through the usual motions that they do, you know, they are like, you know, having to join with the Doctor because they have no cho other choice. Um, I also like the humans in this, the, you know, the actors who played in that, and they were good. And so was Elizabeth Sladen playing Sarah Jane. Now, at the time she was new, so I think she still had to, she was still coming into her own and was, you know, sort of in a development TV stage. A TV stage, that's what I'll say. Um, of course, I can't forget John Pertwee. John Pertwee's one of the finest Doctors of all, and he was great in this, playing the Doctor. You know, just like, you know, even, like thinking, oh, the TARDIS isn't working. He fought on his feet and you know, just fought his way through things and was smart about everything and you know, that's what I love on John Pertwee's Doctor. Um, I also thought the planet Axelos was pretty good and now it was filmed on a quarry. Now Doctor Who, they filmed a lot of stuff on quarries, particularly in the classic era whenever they were on a barren planet. You know, a quarry was always the answer to go. You know, they, they always filmed on a quarry. Um, I also think uh, that the visuals, now, yeah, they're probably dated by today's standards, but probably were quite good uh, back in 1974. The the effects, i got to say, were pretty outstanding for their time, even though you can tell now it's just blue screen and green screen and what have you. Um, so I thought they were good. Uh, but I also thought the Axelonian tribe, they were... You know, just, you know, strange tribe people and their makeup wasn't as good, but hey, it, it was a decent end of serial. There's even a, a moment in it where they're going through these series of tasks and obstacles, I think. Am I on the right, uh, right story here? Uh, and, yeah, they, they even had, like, some monster as well that lived in the water that, you know, lurked around every corner. Yeah. That, that was good puppetry work there. Uh, all in all, I think this is a pretty decent serial. Now, my dislikes uh, were... I guess there was a lot of build-up and slow build, but with it being four episodes long and a 25-minute you know, show at the time, they had a lot of time to build up to like big suspenseful, big moments in this. So, I thought it was good. Um, you know... But like I say, a little slow. It's like starts off a bit low, but then works its way up. I think it gets better as it goes along. Uh, you know, that's what I'll say on that. Um, so yeah, uh, 
do I have any final thoughts? It's a good serial and I recommend it for you Dalek and Third Doctor fans. So, um, I'm going to get straight to the writing first because I never do always rate that first, do I? So, the writing from Terry Nation, that gets um, an 8. The performances get an 8. Uh, the visuals, they get a, a 7. And my personal, I'll give it an 8 because I, I very much did enjoy this one. So, there you are. Uh, Doctor Who Death to the Daleks. So if you've seen this one, let me know down in the comments below if you have. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends. And feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description, so be sure to check all that out. I've been Davros the Whovian, and this has been a Who Review. So until next time, work for your life.